Hello and welcome to my Right Cream review where I'm going to be going over some of the biggest features, give you a demo as well as talking about the pros and cons. Before we begin, I do want to let you know that they currently have a special deal. If you look in the description and click that link, you'll get taken to the page that gives you all the details for that. I don't want to talk about it too much in this video because when it ends, it might confuse some people and I'm sure you get the idea. So feel free to check that out. And with that being said, let's begin. What's good about Right Cream is that they have multiple ways of creating your longer form content like articles, blog posts. So allow me to show you how you can get started with the long form editor. This is something that I did a completely different tutorial on if you want to see all the steps. For this, I'm just going to walk you through the first few just so you can see how it works. So we have our blog idea and we're pretty much going to be going down the line when it comes to these steps. So for this, the product and brand name, I'm going to be talking about YouTube. I said it's a platform that allows users to upload videos that others can watch and engage with. I'm going to click on write for me and I'm going to keep talking just to show you how quickly write cream produces their content. Definitely a big plus. I've seen other softwares that can take anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. Obviously, the bigger and the longer the content is going to be, usually the longer it's going to take. But either way, Right Cream is pretty fast at producing content, so that's always good. How to get more views on YouTube, how to use YouTube to promote your business. I like that one. Let's copy that and I'm going to put it in my Google Doc right here just so we can paste that in there. And what we're going to do is actually take that and use that on our next use case. So we have our blog intro. And what we want to do is paste that in for our topic, seeing that we know what it is now. Let's click on the right for me and let's see what we get for some of the intros. It might be new for you, but you can learn a lot from other professionals. There are some great YouTube videos that are helpful in the marketing process. This blog will show you some of the ways you can use YouTube to promote your business or brand. Let's look at the last one. Let's skip there. It's a little bit longer. It's the go-to platform for all purposes. It's the equivalent to the internet in its own right and can offer a lot of benefits to businesses and brands, especially if you utilize YouTube in the right way. To truly maximize YouTube as a marketing tool, you need to know the rules that govern YouTube videos. You also need to know how to post, share, embed, and optimize your videos so you can start to see success. This video, or excuse me, this video, this blog will show you how. That one looks great. So I'm going to copy this. This would be our intro. And I'm just going to copy this. And what we're going to do is just pretty much go down the line here. So we have our outline. And I think this is the same. Okay, that's going to be there. So now that that's there, let's click on write for me. And we're going to get an outline so that we can take each specific section and then use those for paragraphs. So what is it? How can you use it to promote your business? How to use YouTube for free for paid promotions? business brand, how to use it for marketing, a little repetitive, like how to promote your business and how to, to use it for your business, which is kind of same. You could probably uh, remove one of those. This one looks good. There's a wide variety of things aside from like what types of videos to use. Probably. Yeah, there's some good stuff to talk about there. I talked myself out of it. Anyway, I'm just going to show you one more step. What I'm going to do here is so we have how to use YouTube to promote your business, how to how to get YouTube views. Uh, let's see what's the best time to post your video. I'm going to go with this one. And anytime we want to pick a sub headline, all we need to do is go to the next one, which is going to be blog heading expand. And what we need to do is just put it right here. So give me a sec. I'm going to add it in. So I added that in there and let's click on write for me and we're going to get some content related to that. OK, so let's go to the last one. YouTube is a powerful tool that can be used to promote your business or brand. There are many different ways to use YouTube to promote your business. You can create a YouTube channel, which is a place to upload videos that are related to your business or brand. It's possible to build the video's SEO by adding keywords to the video title and description. Another way to use YouTube to promote your business is by creating a YouTube channel for your business or brand. A little bit repetitive, so I'm going to say that one isn't my favorite. And if you don't like them, what you can do is just click on Write for Me again, and let's see what we get. Here we are. Let's look at the top one. How about the middle one? Sure, let's go with the middle one right here. YouTube is a great platform to promote your uh, brand or business. Best way to do that is through a YouTube channel. This is a master account that you will use to create videos and then upload them to your YouTube feed. The feed is the home of all your videos. And when someone visits your YouTube feed, they'll see all of your videos in one place. When you create videos, you should think about what your audience would find entertaining. If you want to create videos that are informative, you should consider including a short video about your business with a call to action at the end. This will help you to spread the word about your business and grow your business overall. So overall, that pretty much is answering what we're looking for. It probably wordsmith that a little, right? Uh, a few things in there. But anyway, what you would do is pretty much go through, you would select your next headline that you'd want to use, you would copy that, and you would just put it in here and then create more. So that's the process going through that. So you would do the blog heading expand multiple times. And of course, you have the conclusion, which you can do something similar. If you want something that's going to be much quicker, there is definitely a faster way of doing it. 
Here is the AI article writer. So all you need to do is put in a topic. I've noticed that if you put in a very uh, large and like broad topic, you're going to get a lot more ideas to create from. If you already know your topic, like how to use YouTube to promote your online business, you can put that in there. It's not going to give you a lot of ideas, like specifically for the fact that it's very niche down, you know what it is. But if you go broad, you're going to get some better ideas. So I decided to go broad. Let's click on this and get some ideas. YouTube marketing, how to get people to watch your videos. We can look at some others, how to get started with YouTube marketing, 10 expert tips to increase revenue on YouTube, how to find and use YouTube as a marketing tool, how to market your YouTube channel. I like this one for beginners. So now that that's there, you'll notice like the steps are so much easier now. Now all we need to do is click on generate intros. Okay, it's very powerful, it's diverse, can reach markets, uh, it's a complex, we'll touch on how to set up a YouTube channel, how to structure your video content, how to use analytics. That looks good, let's click on next step. Once again, you'll notice it's a much easier process. Let's click on the outlines button and see what we get, how to set it up, why you should create it, how to structure your video content, analytics, what is it? Uh, just kind of quickly going through. And overall, something I've liked about Right Cream is that it doesn't go off the rails all too much. Like a lot of AI copywriting tools can do this every now and then. But not too long ago, I was doing like uh, an article builder using this specific feature. And it was like something marketing related. And then like one of the outlines was like, is this the best t-shirt for your pet dog or something like that? I was like, hmm, this one doesn't seem to match as much as I wanted to. So there are instances where that happens. But in my experience, it doesn't happen enough to be like, all right, this is a problem. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to go with this. Let's click on next step. And just like that, we have our title, we have our intro, and we have our section. So pretty much what it's going to do for you, instead of actually going through in all these steps, it's pretty much going to do it for you in the background. So let's click on write the article and see what we get. All right, so there we go. How to get started with YouTube marketing. This is our intro that we talked about. This is going to be how to set up a YouTube channel, of course. So why you should create a YouTube channel, how to structure your video content, which is right here and right here, and how to use the YouTube analytics. So I'm not going to go through these too much. I'll read one. Let's see how to set up YouTube channel. This one's a little longer, but I'll, I'll go through it quickly. It's a great platform for marketing. It can be used to create a business. It's not a good idea to start a YouTube channel if you have no idea how to use it. You need to spend time learning how to use it and finding out what you can do with it. The first step is to create a YouTube channel. You can do this by visiting the YouTube website and clicking on the Create a YouTube Channel button. Next, you need to choose a username for your channel. You should also make sure you choose a username that is not already taken by other users. It is also important to make sure you choose a username that is easy to remember. Finally, you should choose the privacy settings for your channel. Some people may want the channel to be private, while others may want the channel to be public. I uh, probably want to go with public on that one, right? It is important to choose the privacy settings that work best for you. Once you have created your YouTube channel and selected the privacy settings, it's time to start uploading videos. So that's kind of giving you an idea of the content that comes along with it. Something else that you can utilize, which I really like, is the paragraph generator. This is probably one of my favorite templates, not just with right cream, but just in general for AI copywriting. This is probably one that you would use the most because like anytime you're like, oh, what, what should I write? Just throw it into here, right? You don't need to get a ton of content, but it's something that will do it for you. So for this, I did a completely different topic, the benefits of eating protein for athletes. Let's click on generate, which shouldn't take too long. And let's see what we get. Like I said, I talked to that didn't take that long at all. It's important because it helps with uh, recover muscles for strenuous activity, also helps with muscle growth and repair. However, not all protein is created equal. If you're an athlete, you should eat a variety of proteins, including dairy, fish, red meat, and poultry. Not bad. Like we're talking about on point here in terms of what we're asking for protein, helpful for athletes and so on and so forth. Talking about what it is, the central block for muscles, it helps boost your metabolism, which can increase performance during exercise. Talking about more of that. Uh, eating a well-balanced ba diet, we get the calories and nutrients to fuel your daily activities. When it comes to eating foods to fuel your exercise performance, it's not as simple as choosing this or that. This one could be better. It's it's kind of online. It's not necessarily about like athletes and protein though. When it comes to building muscle, protein is a key ingredient. Talking more about how much you should get, where you should get it. Overall, not bad. Like I said, I really like the paragraph generators. It's great if you just need a little bit, a quick burst of energy in terms of content. Talk about what you need to talk about and it'll just create it for you, give you plenty of ideas where you can roll with one or maybe combine both of them together and kind of trim them away. So you got kind of a demo and some of the features. There's going to be plenty of other templates that you can utilize. I don't need to go through them. They're very easy to do. It's pretty much 
what is going to be under the topic or under the brand name or product, have a description, click on the button, and boom, you get your content. So let's talk about the right cream pros and cons. There's actually a decent amount of them on both sides of the spectrum. I'm going to talk a little bit about all of them. Maybe you've seen some of the things I was talking about, but I do want to explain what I like and what could definitely be improved when it comes to this software. So overall, I would say the quality is just good. It's not fantastic. It's not excellent. It's not the best in the world, but it'll definitely get the job done, especially for the fact that you can always just create more content if you need to. You know, when if you see something you don't like, just hit, hit the right for me button again. It gives you plenty of options to choose from. And like I talked about before, it doesn't really go off the rails too much every now and then. Like I said, there was like that dog, the best shirt for your dog or something random like that. I got a laugh out of it, but there are times with softwares where it just comes up so much where it's like, all right, we're getting into a problem now. I haven't personally seen that with Right Cream, but just keep in mind, it could come up every now and then. Something else that's good is the multiple ways of creating articles. Whether you want to use the long form editor or you want to use the article writer, which I showed you both, one's going to be much quicker and faster. However, with the article writer, I feel like you don't have as much flexibility with this. It kind of gives you each of the sections. While you can edit them, I like having more freedom like in a long form editor where I can doodle around, change things, and kind of have a little bit more flexibility in what I want to write and do overall. I talk about this a lot. Use your, if something is easier to use and there's like few steps to do it, you have less control over it. However, if you're given more control, you usually get more power with that and more flexibility. So it's kind of like a give and take depending on what you need. The good thing though, once again, there is the long form editor and the article writer. So you get to really pick which way you want to tackle your articles. Aside from that, it does have good pricing at the time. There is that special deal if you want to check that out, which helps definitely make Right Cream worth it, especially for the fact that you get a good amount of content for a pretty good price, especially for the fact a lot of times you have to pay recurring. Now, on the other hand, are going to be the cons. So one thing that I, I don't know if I got to talk too much on, but I'm going to show you specifically, there is a very strong emphasis on using products and brand names. Okay. I like a little bit more freedom when it comes to a lot of the use cases and templates. I'm going to give you an example here. When we have to say the blog outline, if you are going to create a blog, you might want to create something on anything random. You might want to talk about a product. Maybe you're like me. You love talking about products. You review them. You demo them. You talk about features. And a lot of times you're kind of just locked into talking about products and brand names. This isn't going to be a problem for anyone who has their own product, their own brand, or maybe just talks about other products and brands. But for the moment, there's a lot of these templates where maybe I just want to talk about a topic that doesn't have a product or brand name. And because because of that, I feel you kind of get locked in a little bit more towards doing that. For example, I put right cream in here once just to give an example, talked about the blog topic and I'm like, well, maybe I want to do a right cream review. Okay. And then what happened, the, the software started calling the software right cream review. Okay. So I feel it could be a little bit better when it comes to that. And what I mean by that is the paragraph generator, which we just recently did. Notice how there's just a topic. There's no product or brand name. When you have that flexibility of just being able to put a topic, you could talk about right cream. You could talk about a right cream review. You could talk about eating healthy food. You could talk about dogs putting on their socks one by one. You can talk about anything. So I love, I would love if there was a little bit more flexibility when it comes to the use templates. I want to talk about topics. I want to talk about a lot of wide variety of things. Okay. And last but not least is going to be the plagiarism checker. I did a video on this previously and after this, my thoughts on her, it's just really bad. There's no real way around it. This needs a lot of improvement. Uh, before I saw like a flaw in it, and now I've seen a few more flaws. Either way, it's not going to detract from the overall value of Right Cream, but this is just one little specific section in it that needs to be improved, in my opinion. For example, what I did, I went to my website and I plagiarized 100%. And when I say that I copied my own work, I put it in here and of course it came up plagiarism. Okay. That's good. One thing I would like out of this, one thing out of two things is that it says plagiarism percentage, a hundred percent. Now keep in mind, this was just a random example. If I had a, a say 500 characters here or like a thousand characters here, it'll say like plagiarism 20%, but it won't highlight what's plagiarized. And that's going to be very helpful because what you want to do, you don't want to have to go to the actual website and see like, all right, where does it matter? up, what do I need to edit? As an example, I took this into a free plagiarism checker and what it does is it highlights what needs to get changed. Ironically enough, this would need to get changed too. It missed that. But either way, that's something I think could definitely be improved. And what I also did, I want to test it out. If I add more words to this, how is the plagiarism checker going to be? So what I actually did is I copied this. 
I wrote a few more words in the beginning. And as you, as you can see here, I clicked on check for plagiarism and now it's saying 0% despite the fact that I still had my other content here. So all in all, this plagiarism checker uh, section, this feature is just no bueno in my opinion. Uh, you don't want to use something and have it be like, yeah, it's completely good to go, yet I blatantly copied work from my own website. Let me click on check for plagiarism. Maybe it'll change. Maybe it won't. Let's just see. And once again, so plagiarism percentage zero, despite the fact that's there. Let me delete this. This is what I copied from my own website. Let's click on check for plagiarism. Let's see what we get. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. And there you go. So like I said, I don't think that detracts from the overall, like my opinion on right cream. It's just one specific section of it. It's pretty bad. It needs work. I wouldn't use this specific plagiarism checker, but that's just something to keep in mind. This one's free. It works pretty good, you know, if that's what you're looking for. But also keep in mind when it comes to plagiarism, using any other type of AI content writing software, whether it's this or other ones, there will be times where there is plagiarism, but it's not actually real plagiarism from what I've seen. It's usually really broad statements like, thank you so much for reading this, or like, feel free to leave a comment down below. There's going to be times where that comes up, but from what I've seen by testing this and putting in other plagiarism checkers, I haven't come up with anything that's been blatantly plagiarized, which is always a good. So those are the cons like I talked about. It really focuses on a lot of the the, the emphasis on the products and brands. I would like it, like it if it had a few more like topics that you could just put it in and be a little bit more broad. And of course, their plagiarism checker section or feature is pretty bad overall. Does that really detract from all of their software? Not really. Some people might think so. Some people might not think so. That's really up to you. That's why I do these reviews. Overall, I wouldn't fault you if you got this and I wouldn't fault you if you didn't, but that's going to be my honest review when it comes to right cream. If you want to check out that special deal, the link will be down below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you got some value out of this video.